Hi, and welcome to bestbloggertemplates.net. This is Paul Crow, the author of bestbloggertemplates.net, and in this video we're going to show you how you can get any of the templates from our gallery, download them and upload them and use them on your blog. And this video is specific for Google Chrome users. So if you use the Google Chrome browser, this is the video for you because across the different browsers, if you're using Internet Explorer or Firefox, there are some differences in the process, especially in the download process. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to download a template and put it onto a test blog in this video so you can then follow the steps. So I have a test blog ready here and I'm going to use one of the templates on that blog. So we're on the home page of bestbloggertemplates.net and if we scroll down along, you can see all the latest templates here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stop on one, let's stop on this one here called Brat Princess and you can see there's a screenshot and there's a couple of options here, the template demo, so if we click that we'll see a demo of the template, what it looks like, there it is, and download link which starts the download and you can share the template on your social networks. There's also an info and instructions link if you do need more information or more help. Now when we click the template download, one of two things can happen. Um, a lot of templates that we have in the gallery um, the link is direct to the file. So when you click template download, you will go straight into the to, to, to download the file. So it'll for Chrome users, it'll go straight to your downloads bar. Um, but on some of the templates, the file is actually hosted externally on another site. Now this isn't you don't have to worry about it or get confused by it. It's basically when you click it, you will go on to an external what's called a file host. Um, a good example of that is box.net and the file will be there. So I actually have a tab here with this template and I know that the, the download for this template is, is actually on box.net. So see what happens when I click template download. I will be brought to box.net and we will see a page like this and all you have to do is you can let that load but let's is just click the download here and that will then start your download process and bring up your downloads bar. But we are obviously using the template here and when you'll notice when I click template download on this one, it actually goes straight down to the downloads bar at the bottom of the page down here. So when you get the downloads bar pops up, you can just click onto the link down here. Let's drag this back up. And we will see here Brett Princess XML document. Now, we're not ready to click onto this just yet because this is what's called a zip file. And all zip files have to be extracted. I have to be called extracted or unzipped. So it's quite a simple process. You see up here, extract all files. This is Windows 7. In Windows Vista, it's up here. In Windows XP, it's down in the left hand side, but you will see it no matter which, um, which version of Windows you have. So let's click extract all files. We will get this pop up here. Let's show extracted files when complete. No problem. Let's click extract. And that's it, the extract process is done. So that file is now extracted, it's saved, and it's ready to use. Now, once again, in Windows XP, there's what you call an extraction wizard pops up, and it's fairly self explanatory. You just have to click next once or twice, and you will end up with the same result. Now, one thing we want to remember at this stage is whereabouts we have this, um, this file saved. So if you look at the address bar at the top, you will see downloads and that tells me that this is in my downloads folder it's saved into my downloads folder and that's important when I go looking for it it makes it much much easier so we can actually close these windows because we have now downloaded the file we've extracted the file and it's ready to use and we remember that it's in our downloads folder so let's close these let's go back to our test blog now I'm going to click the design link here in the nav bar and um, you can click it through your through your blogger dashboard you can click design um, and then going to click the edit html link and we're now on our template html page and you will see the option here to choose file so let's click choose file and we get up this um, this small window so you can see that this is actually on a different template which i was actually working on earlier on. Um, so now, although we're in our downloads folder, we're in the wrong part of our downloads folder. So down the left hand side here, I can actually click the downloads and we can try and find, and it's right up the very top here, Brett Princess 
that's the template that we wanted that's the template we just saved you can see i have lots of different templates in there because i've been working around with some of them um, but you should be able to locate the template you saved fairly quickly so that's breath princess we can click on this and you'll see there's a number of different things here they've included uh, the images um, for the template but what you're looking for is the xml part or the xml document and this thumbnail here is exactly what you'll see with an xml document and if you hover over it you'll see type xml document that's the part you want because sometimes when you open this you get a readme with some extra instructions and it can be linked back to sites and so on but you're looking for that thumbnail and on hover you will see type is xml document let's click on that and when we click on that we'll see it's gone in here and i can now click upload and when i click upload we get one more step we get the option to either keep or delete our widgets um, and this was basically all the widgets and gadgets you have in your sidebar and so on you can keep them or you can delete them and i only have the one because it's only a test blog so i'm just going to delete that widget and once that's done our Brett Princess template should be on our test blog when I click view blog. And there it is. So that's all the steps to download, extract, and then upload a blogger template while using the Chrome browser. Thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.